Ladies and gentlemen, I have tricked you because this is not, that's not me, okay? This is me. You've been on my channel 10 times, we went on three dates, you told me I was handsome, we even held hands, but you still didn't subscribe to my channel. Tell me why, okay? No, it's okay. I'm doing brand new stuff here. If you want to see this stuff in the future, it's AutoCAD 2022. We're going from the very basics of isometric 3D block modeling all the way to the advanced 3D modeling in one single playlist. So if you want to see it, you got to subscribe. You got to like the videos. You got to comment. Tell me what you do and don't like. That way I can make this content perfect for you. So do me a favor. Follow me on this journey. Here we go. I'll see you out there. Ladies and gentlemen, people of the world, people that are following this playlist, this is number five in my beginner to advanced 3D modeling playlist. This model is somewhere between a beginner and intermediate level model. I'm in AutoCAD 2022. And what I'm looking at here is something that is 96 by 64 total. I'm going to take this, this, and this off and pre pretend like it doesn't exist. Okay. I'll make the surface first. I'll make the little notch cut out and then we'll take that and extrude it down. Then we will take these three different pieces, make them individually out in space and then put them back on top, union the whole thing, and we will be done, all right? So a little bit more challenging than past models in this playlist, but not too hard. So here we go, 96 by 64. I'm gonna take my line tool, I'm in the top, and I'm on 2D wireframe. We're gonna go 96 to the right. If that line goes way off the screen for you, hit escape and do a zoom extents, which is right over here. If you don't get the green line, make sure F10 is turned on. I'm gonna go 64 up. 96 to the left and close. By the way, if you want down here, you will see it says F10 polar tracking. You can hit the arrow next to it and change and make it find other angles every 45 degrees, every 30 degrees and so on. So you can always change that. I like to stick with the 0, uh, 91, 80, 270 because I think that's the best way and it doesn't get in the way of me drawing other things. All right. Uh, so I've got these four pieces here. I'm going to do an offset now in of 16 and then in again of 16, then out 20. So we're going offset 16. We'll go off of here, 16, 16, escape. Spacebar brings you back into offset, 20. Go off the right line in, trim, get rid of that, get rid of those, get rid of that, and open that up. Circle. If this was 16, that means the diameter is 16 or the radius is 8. Or you could just take a circle and go like this. Or you could even use a two-point circle. So when you go to the circle tool, you can click on 2P and you can say boom, boom. And that's the same thing. Uh, trim those out. Select everything and join. You have eight objects converted to one polyline. That's what we want. If I were to count these, it comes out to be eight. Uh, if it ever says eight converted to one and one removed, eight converted to two, that means it didn't fully go together or there's a double line. So you got to check out your work. I like to single click all the lines at that point and move it out of the way to see if there are any double lines behind it. But in this case, we are golden. Okay. So we've got this piece here. We're already on the top. Let's go to the bottom right corner of our cube. That's our Southeast isometric view. I'm going to take this and extrude this down and our depth is down or up. It actually doesn't matter in this case because we haven't built anything else yet, but the depth is 16. So we can go 16 up, that's fine, positive number. Uh, next thing, we're gonna build this back part and we're gonna pretend like this fillet edge does not exist. That fillet edge is a radius of 32, but we will do that later. This piece back here is 16 by 64. So to start, I'm gonna go from here by the way, if you go back here and this doesn't snap, make sure F4 is turned on. F4 is your 3D object snaps. Uh, F3 is just your regular object snaps for 2D work, okay? F3 will sometimes work with 3D points, but for the most part, you might need F4 on to get these other points. All right, so we're going 16. We're going to go back this way. I'm going to orbit a little bit so that line doesn't get in my way. And I'm going to go another 64, enter, and then I'm going to close. Now, one, two, three, four. By the way, you have to create these lines because it's gotta be a closed profile. 
And this line here that my cursor's on right now is not a line anymore. It's part of a 3D model. Just like this back one is not really a line, it's a 3D model. So I had to draw this double line over top of this stuff in order to do my join and extrude, okay? So we're gonna join here, four objects converted to one, we're gonna select it, and we're gonna go up 48. Extrude, 48, enter. Now we said that fillet edge, remember fillet is for 2D, fillet edge is for 3D, but you still gotta hit radius on both of them and you're gonna do 32. And you're just gonna click this edge right here. In fillet, you click two lines and it rounds between those lines, but that's 2D stuff. In fillet edge, it's the edge that you click and then you hit enter twice, like so. All right, so we're good. If you wanna check it out, we'll go on shaded with edges and we're looking good so far, okay? So back to 2D wireframe. Let's look at the picture here. Uh, this piece is 40 by 28. So in the front view, since that is facing the front here, this is the front, that's the front, right, 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 and everything else that's facing up is top. 40 by 28. So I will take a line, I'm gonna build it out here. We're gonna go 40 to the right, 28 up, 48 to the left, and not 48, sorry, I think it was 40, yeah. 40 to the left, not 470, 40. And close. Take those four, join them together, and let's look at the circle size. The circle size, it's in the middle, okay? So you've got eight and eight on both sides, and you've got a 24 from one side to the other, which is a 24 diameter or a 12 radius. So take your circle tool. By the way, I'm on 3D Basics, that's down here, and you can't see it because I'm in the way. Oh, not that one, that one. So down here, I'm on 3D Basics, but you can be on 3D Modeling. You could even do the whole thing in drafting an annotation if you type all the commands, that is up to you. So, Circle Tool, Midpoint, make sure Midpoint's turned on, that's OS Enter and check Midpoint. Uh, 12 Radius, or you could hit Diameter at the bottom and do 24. Now, trim. When I'm in trim, in 2021 and 2022 AutoCADs, you are already in a quick trim. So you're good to go. You can just click the lines that you don't want. If you're in 2019 or older, you're not in a quick trim yet. You're actually in cutting edges. Uh, so you got to hit an additional enter to get to that. All right. So I'd probably say that in each video, but it's very important for new people that are coming in and not seeing the other videos. All right. So let's select all of this and join. Let's orbit a little bit. And we're looking at a depth of, where are we at, where are we at, where are we at? Okay, so we got 22 here, and this whole thing is 64. So 64 minus 22 is 42. So we're gonna go extrude this piece, enter 42. And now you could spin this around if it's easier. You're gonna move from this back left corner, it's left because when I'm facing this way, it's the back left. And you're gonna put that on this corner right here. So you get that. Shaded with edges, looks good so far, okay? Uh, back to 2D wireframe, back to the top, bottom right corner, and actually I meant to go to the front because now we have to build that wedge piece and that wedge piece is 28 tall and it comes out until it hits the edge. So we don't really need a dimension there. We could figure it out, but we don't need to. Um, and then we've got a slant that goes from that top surface to our uh, edge of our model here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a polyline in this instance. I'm gonna orbit a little bit so I can make sure I get the back corner. Otherwise, if you click, whoops. Otherwise, if you click, let's see if we can back up a step here. If you click here, here and here, it might mess up the corners and get something that goes from this corner to that corner and so on. So you wanna make sure that you're on the right one. Um, so 2D wireframe, polyline, I'm gonna go here, down. And by the way, if these don't snap to the corner ever while you're 3D modeling, you can force it to snap to certain points by typing in the first three letters of what you wanna to snap to. So if I wanna to snap to an end, I can do END, enter, and it will only find endpoints. You'll see I'm not getting a center of the circle. I'm not getting midpoints. I'm only gonna get endpoints. 
Uh, if you wanted to do the midpoint of something, you could do MID enter. If you want to do tangent, TAN enter. If you want to do center, CEN enter. It'll force it to only find the one that you type in. All right. So now I'm going to close. This is a depth of 12. So we're going to bring that forward. So that has to be a positive number. 12 enter. And looking at that model on shading with edge, shaded with edges, sorry. Uh, union, union everything together, enter. And then you will see when I reset my view that we are done. Now, while I have your attention, take a look at the screen for a second. Boom, subscribe. If you like this stuff, if you're learning anything, uh, like the video, that's going to help the video get traction and more people will see it. And obviously turn on that bell if you want to get notifications for all my future videos. All right. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. Later.